we found in this large study of women was that having had a history of child abuse, uh, either physical or sexual abuse, was associated with an increased risk of diabetes in adulthood. This was a dose-response relationship, ranging from about a 20% increased risk of women who'd experienced mild forms of abuse to a 70% increased risk for women who experienced the most extreme forms of abuse as children. So we did this, this study for a couple of reasons. One is the incredible widespread prevalence of abuse in our society. We don't usually talk about it, but national surveys show that between 40 and 60% of women experience some form of either physical or sexual abuse in childhood or their teenage years. The other reason is that overweight and diabetes are very prevalent and growing concerns in our society. Uh, it's estimated that about 8 to 10% of women will develop diabetes in a lifetime. When you put together the widespread prevalence of child maltreatment and of the adult consequences of diabetes, we estimate that approximately 10% of, the, of diabetes in this country in women might be prevented if the child abuse hadn't happened. So this study differs from a couple of previous studies that had looked at this association. For one, we had 16 times more women uh, involved, and for two, we had better measures of both childhood abuse and of diabetes. So I think there are really three implications, three levels of implications for this. One is at the policy level. We already have good reason to prevent child abuse, uh, but this gives us one more reason because of the long-term health consequences and frankly cost to society of the diabetes epidemic. Another level would be at the level of the pediatrician. So pediatricians who are aware of child maltreatment uh, may want to keep an eye open, particularly for uh, weight trajectories in those children and help them try to cope with what they're facing and how that um, will affect their lifestyle choices. On a personal level, because child abuse is very, very prevalent in our society, the best national estimates estimate that upwards of 40% of women experience some kind of physical or sexual abuse as a child or a teenager which means that this exposure is, is really widespread. It's something we don't like to talk about, uh, but it's definitely there. In our own study, we actually saw higher than 50% of women were uh, reported childhood abuse. Uh, what this means, I think, on a personal level is that women who've experienced abuse really need to understand how profound and long-lasting that effect could be on their physiology and on their psyche and really take good care of themselves.